Welcome to the Teacher's Lounge, a podcast dedicated to providing real-life resources for early education professionals. The Teacher's Lounge is hosted by Noel Dentino and Jessica Day. Together, they bring almost 50 years of combined experience in and out of the early education classroom, offering a wealth of knowledge and practical insights that you need now if you're in childcare. Whether you're a new assistant or making the leap from lead teacher to director, we have you covered. Join us as we delve into the unique challenges and opportunities of each role, sharing our experiences and expertise with practical tools to help you succeed. So grab a cup of coffee or your favorite drink, and let's jump into the lounge. Hi. I'm your host, Jessica Day, and in today's episode, we'll explore the incredible impact of peer support in helping new students develop essential social skills as they navigate the unfamiliar terrain of educational settings. So let's dive right in. Social skills are a fundamental aspect of a child's development and play a crucial role in shaping their future success and well-being. Early childhood, which spans from birth to around eight years old, is a critical period for the formation of these skills. During this time, children's brains are highly receptive to learning and adapting to social interactions. Here are some reasons why social skill development in early childhood is so important. Positive relationships. Developing social skills allows children to build positive and meaningful relationships with peers, teachers, and caregivers. These early connections lay the foundation for healthy interpersonal relationships later in life. Communication skills. Social interactions provide opportunities for children to develop their communication skills, including verbal and nonverbal cues, active listening, and expressing emotions effectively. Conflict resolution. Learning how to navigate conflicts and disagreements in a supportive environment teaches children essential conflict resolution skills that can benefit them throughout life. Empathy and compassion. Social skill development fosters empathy and compassion as children learn to understand and consider the feelings and perspectives of others. Self-confidence and self-esteem. Positive social interactions can boost a child's self-confidence and self-esteem, providing a strong sense of belonging and self-worth. Cognitive development. Social interactions stimulate cognitive development by encouraging problem-solving, critical thinking, and perspective-taking. For new students, entering a classroom environment can be both exciting and overwhelming. They are introduced to a new setting, unfamiliar faces, and a different routine. The challenges they encounter during this transition period can significantly impact their social and emotional well-being. Peer support in early childhood education refers to the assistance, encouragement, and cooperation that children provide to one another in various social situations. It involves peers helping peers, fostering a positive and inclusive classroom culture. As the lead teacher in a classroom, you can promote peer-to-peer support in a variety of ways. The benefits of doing this has a great positive impact on the students, such as social learning. Peer support offers opportunities for children to observe and model positive social behaviors, helping them learn appropriate social skills through imitation. A sense of belonging. Being supported by peers can help new students feel accepted and welcomed, easing their transition into the classroom environment. Reduced anxiety. Peer support can alleviate social anxiety in new students, providing a more meaningful relief, providing a more comfortable and safe space for them to engage with others. Emotional regulation. Interacting with peers allows children to express their emotions and learn emotional regulation through feedback and understanding. Increased engagement. 
Peer support encourages active participation in classroom activities and promotes a sense of ownership in the learning process. Fostering peer support in early childhood education is essential for nurturing new students' social and emotional development. Through positive interactions with their peers, new students can overcome challenges, build self-confidence, and form meaningful relationships, setting the stage for a successful educational journey. Entering a new classroom environment can be an overwhelming experience for young children. As they navigate this transition, they may encounter various social skill challenges that can affect their ability to engage with peers and adapt to the new setting. Identifying and addressing these challenges early on is crucial for fostering a positive and inclusive learning environment. Here are some common social skill challenges that new students may face. Social anxiety. Many new students experience social anxiety, which can manifest as shyness, hesitancy to initiate conversations, or avoiding group activities. Friendship difficulties. Forming new friendships can be challenging for new students, especially when existing peer groups have already formed. Communication barriers. Language differences or communication difficulties can hinder new students from expressing themselves and understanding their peers. Conflict resolution. Some new students may struggle to navigate conflicts and may not know how to handle disagreements with their peers effectively. Sharing and cooperation. New students may find it hard to share toys, materials, or play spaces leading to conflicts with their peers. Emotional regulation. Managing emotions in social situations can be difficult for new students, leading to emotional outbursts or withdrawal. Promoting peer-to-peer -peer activities can really support new and transitioning students in your classroom. In a classroom I recently worked with, greatly benefited the students. Sarah, a timid new student, joined Miss Sue in Miss Vicky's preschool class. At first, she struggled to interact with her peers, often standing alone during playtime. Recognizing Sarah's social anxiety, Miss Sue and Miss Vicky collaborated to implement small group activities that encouraged collaboration and peer support. They set up an activity and grouped the students together that they felt Sarah may connect with. With gentle encouragement and support from her classmates, Sarah slowly started to participate, gaining confidence as she felt accepted and supported by her peers. Miss Sue noticed how Sarah's body language changed from tense and withdrawn to more relaxed and open. She no longer stood on the periphery of the group during playtime, but actively joined in the activities. Miss Vicky continued to work closely with Sarah providing her with individualized attention and emotional support. She understood that building a strong teacher-student relationship was crucial for fostering Sarah's social skills development. The two teachers coordinated the buddy system, sharing Sarah with Emma, an outgoing and friendly little girl. Emma took her role as Sarah's buddy seriously, making sure Sarah never felt alone and always had someone to lean on. Their friendship blossomed and Sarah began to trust Emma, gradually opening up and sharing her thoughts and feelings. During an art project one afternoon, Sarah joined a small group with Emma and Max. Max was a boy who had faced challenges with sharing of cooperation in the past. However, the positive atmosphere of the group and Emma's guidance created an environment where Max felt comfortable and encouraged to be supportive. As they started drawing, Emma asked Sarah about her favorite animal and shared her own, while Max contributed by passing them markers and complimenting their drawings. Miss Sue and Miss Vicky observed from a distance, pleased to see the dynamic in the group. Emma and Max's patience and kindness had a positive impact on Sarah. By the end of the activity, Sarah had not only shared her favorite animal, but also laughed along with her new friends. As the weeks went by, Sarah's confidence continued to grow. 
Miss Sue and Miss Vicky noticed that Sarah was more willing to initiate conversations both during structured activities and free play. Her buddy system and strong teacher-student relationships played significant roles in Sarah's progress. One day, during a show-and-tell session, Sarah brought her favorite book from home. With a little encouragement from Emma and the supportive nods from her teacher, she stood in front of the class and shared why the book was special to her. The other children listened attentively, and Miss Sue and Miss Vicky commended Sarah for her courage. The turning point came during a class birthday celebration. When it was time for the children to dance together, Sarah hesitated at first, but with the reassuring smiles and outreach, delete. But with the reassuring smiles and outreached hands of her classmates, she took a step forward and joined the joyful dance circle. It was a heartwarming moment for everyone, and the bond among the children grew even stronger. As the school year drew to a close, Sarah was a different child from the timid newcomer who had joined Miss Sue and Miss Vicky's class. She had not only developed social skills, also formed genuine relationships with her peers. Sarah's transformation was a testament to the power of peer support and the nurturing environment created by both teachers. Foster peer support in the classroom is a powerful way to enhance social skill development and create a positive and inclusive learning environment. Early childhood educators can implement various practical strategies to promote peer support and encourage meaningful interactions among their students, such as, number one, buddy systems. Pair new students with more experienced peers as buddies to help them acclimate to the classroom environment and provide social support. Number two, inclusive group activities. Organize activities that encourage cooperation, sharing, and teamwork, allowing students to interact positively with one another. Number three, role modeling positive behaviors. Model positive social interactions as an educator, demonstrating active listening, empathy, and respect towards all students. Number four, encourage inclusivity. Teach students to be accepting and inclusive of their peers' differences, including cultural backgrounds, abilities, and interests. Number five, cooperative learning. Use cooperative learning strategies that require students to work together towards common goals, fostering a sense of camaraderie and mutual support. Number six, peer mediation. Train students in conflict resolution techniques empowering them to resolve minor disagreements among their peers constructively. Strong teacher-student relationships serve as a foundation for peer support and social skill development. There are many ways you, as the teacher, can foster strong teacher-student relationships, such as greeting students warmly. Start each day with a genuine and welcoming greeting to set a positive tone for the classroom. Active listening. Pay close attention to students' thoughts and feelings, demonstrating that their voices are heard and valued. Provide individualized attention. Offer personalized support and guidance to help students overcome social challenges and build confidence. Offering emotional support. Create a safe space for students to express their emotions and concerns, offering comfort and understanding when needed. Celebrating efforts. Recognize and praise student social successes and efforts to encourage further growth and development. By implementing these strategies and fostering a positive and inclusive classroom culture, early childhood educators can create a supportive environment that empowers new students to develop essential social skills and thrive in their educational journey. There are many benefits of pairing new students with more experienced peers. You will see things like smooth transition. Buddy systems help new students adjust to the classroom environment more smoothly by providing a friendly face and a source of support from day one. A sense of belonging. Pairing new students with buddies fosters a sense of belonging, reducing feelings of isolation and anxiety. Social skill development. 
Buddies can model positive social behaviors, helping new students learn appropriate social skills through observation and interaction. Boosting confidence. Buddies offer encouragement and reassurance, boosting the new student's self-confidence and self-esteem. Friendship building. Buddy pairs often develop strong friendships, leading to lasting connections beyond the initial transition period. Pairing students not only benefits a new student, also benefits the classroom when you are struggling with things like transitions or a student is struggling being in a large group. Be mindful when pairing students effectively monitoring success. Consider interests and personalities. Pair students who share common interests or complementary personalities. This can lead to more meaningful connections and enjoyable interactions. Count for diversity. Be mindful of cultural, linguistic, and developmental differences when pairing students. A diverse buddy pair can promote cross-cultural understanding and empathy. Observe peer interactions. Monitor buddy interactions during group activities and playtimes. Look for signs of positive engagement, cooperation, and support. Encourage open communication. Establish an environment where students feel comfortable expressing their feelings about the buddy system. Encourage open communication between buddies and teachers. Rotate buddy pairs. Consider rotating buddy pairs occasionally to give students opportunities to interact with different peers. This can broaden their social experiences and create a more inclusive classroom community. There are many activities you can do with the pairs, such as normal everyday activities on the schedule or buddy style activities such as these below that will promote interaction and cooperation. Collaborative art projects. Assign group art projects where children work together to create a shared masterpiece. This activity fosters cooperation, communication, and creativity. Team building games. Organize team building games that require children to work together to solve challenges or achieve a common goal. These games enhance problem solving and communication skills. Role play and drama. Engage children in role play and drama activities that encourage them to step into different roles and interact in character. This helps them understand different perspectives and emotions. Group storytelling. Form small groups and ask each group to create a story together. This activity promotes collaboration and imagination as children take turns contributing to the plot. Classroom jobs. Assign classroom jobs to students, rotating responsibilities regularly. This encourages teamwork and a sense of responsibility for the classroom community. Structured and unstructured activities. Structured activities are planned and organized by teachers, providing specific goals and guidelines. Unstructured activities, on the other hand, allow children to explore and interact freely without predefined rules. Some examples of structured activities are group discussions, organized games, team projects, and planned role play scenarios. Some examples of unstructured activities are free play time, open-ended art activities, and casual conversations during snack time. Interacting social learning activities into the daily routine. Morning circle time. Start the day with a morning circle where students greet each other and share their thoughts or experiences, promoting social interactions and communication. Centers and play areas. Arrange play areas and centers to encourage group play and cooperation. Rotate the centers periodically to keep the activities fresh and engaging. Class meetings. Schedule regular class meetings to discuss shared experiences, resolve conflicts, and make group decisions. These meetings encourage collaboration and a sense of community. Incorporate literature. Use story time to introduce books that address social themes like friendship, teamwork, and empathy. 
Discuss the stories afterward to promote social learning. Reflection time. Allocate time for children to reflect on their social interactions and feelings. Encourage them to share what they learned from their experiences. By incorporating a mix of structured and unstructured social learning activities into the daily routine, early childhood educators can create an engaging and inclusive environment, promotes interaction, cooperation, and the development of essential social skills among their students. These activities not only enhance social learning, also foster a positive and supportive classroom culture, benefits children throughout their educational journey. In this podcast, we have explored the significance of fostering peer support for new student social skills in the early education classroom. We highlighted the importance of social skill development in this crucial stage of a child's life and discussed the challenges new students face when entering a classroom environment. Fostering peer support is not only essential for helping new students. Delete. Fostering peer support is not only essential for helping new students adjust, also for enhancing their social and emotional development. Through peer interactions, children learn valuable communication, empathy, and conflict resolution skills that will benefit them throughout their lives. Peer support creates a sense of belonging, boosts self-confidence, and cultivates a compassionate classroom community where all students can thrive. We encourage all early childhood educators to implement these strategies presented in this podcast to foster peer support and social skill development in their classrooms. By proactively embracing these methods, educators can make a lasting and positive impact on their students' lives. We encourage all early childhood educators to implement the strategies presented in this podcast to foster peer support and social skill development in their classrooms. By proactively embracing these methods, educators can make a lasting and positive impact on their students' lives. We invite you to share your experiences and success stories with the wider community of educators as collaboration and shared knowledge can further enrich the learning environment for all. We have developed the Buddy Blueprint to help you set up buddy systems in your classroom. Head to the show notes and click on the Buddy Blueprint link to grab your copy. Share it with your co-teacher and create your own Buddy Blueprint for your classroom. Thank you for tuning into this podcast. We hope you found the information and strategies valuable for your classroom practices. To stay updated on future episodes and access more valuable content, we invite you to subscribe to our podcast. Together, let's continue to create nurturing and empowering learning environments for our young learners. Thank you again, and happy teaching. And that brings us to the end of this episode of The Teacher's Lounge. We're so grateful for your time and hope you found our discussion helpful and inspiring. Remember, you are doing an amazing job in the field of early education, and we're here to support you every step of the way. Until next time, take care, and we'll be back soon with more resources, insights, and inspirations to help you succeed. And don't forget to subscribe to our podcast and follow us on all our social medias to stay up to date on the latest happenings inside the lounge. Keep up the great work. We're cheering you on.